Our flight to offshore Galveston light ring position, as always, starts at Republic Helicopter Base at Santa Fe, Texas, in the vicinity of Galveston. pilot is Lynn Austin who is readying the 975 for the trip out to the front of Palia. While Eric, the pilot on 971, cleaning out his engines after an offshore flight. Are you willing to take us out? Always. 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 Roger, man, good. Are you ready to go? STBL Front Opelia is in a ship-to-ship -ship mooring approach with the service vessel Eagles and Taurus. The lightering is conducted by Captain Armstrong of Skaugen Petrotrans. Master of the Front Opelia is Captain Patak, who is maneuvering his ship right now on a heading of 260 and a speed of 5.5 knots. The time is 2030 hours on May 28th.
Eagle Centaurus is on mooring approach with a parallel heading. No matter what we have to lose, no matter how much we uh, have to maintain our heading. Because it was a uh, uh, She was handling all this uh, cars. Doppler uh, speed 5.7 knots. STBL Front Opelia and service vessel Eagle Armstrong, uh, Eagle Centaurus in mooring approach. Offshore Galveston on May 28th. Very professional parallel approach by Captain Armstrong of Skauken Petrotrans. Captain Armstrong, what time we call that? 2048 commenced mooring? 2048 flying devil. Roger. We are looking at the three chock stern mooring arrangement and how we are tied up together with the service vessel Eagle Centaurus. The STBL has at this time for lightering only one usable mooring bit and three chocks. It works as per our guidelines. are the stainless steel brake bands which I'm pointing out here stainless steel brake wheel surfaces very nice no corrosion very very good arrangement
Yeah. Well, we'll take a look at the moorings together okay. and, and see what we can do to improve it, right. if we can, for the next ship. Captain Armstrong, mooring master, is reviewing the headline arrangement. We have good messenger lines on board the front Opelia, which also meets Sea River Maritime Gulf of Mexico lightering criteria. A view to an offshore personal transfer net. In this instance, it's made by Apollo Marine Specialties of New Orleans, Louisiana. This one is a year 2005 built. It has some label data on here which uh, hopefully can be read. We'll see if we can get that onto the film record. Oh yes, there we go. All right. And these personal transfer nets are class or have class type approval for the intended use. Cargo transfer and number one lightering was completed and we are now lifting the hoses for short draining to the service vessel, draining the crude oil down through the manifold into a tank on the service ship. Then we will attach the blank flange and transfer the hose for storage over to the mothership or STBL front Opelia. This operation is done by the second officer of the Opelia and also by the assistant mooring master from Skaugen Petrotrans. Here we go! 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 Here we go!
Two assistant mooring masters doing the hose handling, uh, draining and disconnecting, swinging them over to the STBL. Chris, who's with us for a long time, and his colleague, who is taking over soon. <laughs> but Chris, you're not retiring, are you? <laughs> not, not, yet. Not, yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Okay. This is always the less glamorous but hard-working and necessary part of a lightering operation in having the hoses safely and effectively transferred between the ships. It involves a lot of manual labor, handling of tag lines, strapping, restrapping the hoses in the correct position. And number one hose is now being transferred to the STBL Frontopelia.
We can see the holes above the water line and number three fender immediately aft of the manifold. These low air pressure filled high energy absorption fenders are 3.3 meters wide and have a length of 6.5 meters. Very good. Okay. Good job, Chris. Thank you. Captain Bartak, master of the front opelia, is conducting the unmooring maneuver. We're starting now, letting go lines one by one in pairs, and then we'll separate the ships as directed by Captain Armstrong Hedgecock, the Skaugen Petrotrans mooring master. Inboard stern lines cast off. Letting go the outboard stern lines using the steel unmooring pin. Last lines, the aft springs are now being cast off. service vessel Eagle Centaurus has separated from the STBL with a full cargo of crude oil bound for the port of Houston. We also have to thank our mooring master Captain Armstrong for a fine maneuver conducted. Very professional.
da muss ich früher so warten. Good operations. Captain Batak, thank you for a very nice lightering conducted by the front Opelia under your command. Very professional. Thank you, sir. The service vessel is turning away to starboard while the STBL is on a heading of 195 and will relocate to the lightering position. 28, 25 degrees north and 94, 30 in preparation for lightering number two. The engine is dead slow ahead and the helmsman has the rudder port 20 at this moment. Dimensions of the front Opelia. The lightering support vessel SPT Defender is approaching the service tanker Eagle Centaurus on the right side of the picture in order to remove two baby fenders from the service vessel and transfer the mooring master, disembark him to the LSV. And then we shall be ready for lightering number two. Republic helicopter incoming on May 30th. Helicopter is cranking up for takeoff with the uh, owners, auditing safety superintendent on board going back ashore. The pilot is Eric. And 
and it is liftoff.